What's up, everybody? It's Rhino Racing 4. So, if you don't know John Boy Media, he makes breakdowns on baseball, and I figured why not let's do the same here on NASCAR on this channel. Let's do a series of breakdowns on events in the NASCAR world, such as finishes, uh, altercations, fill in the blank. I thought it would be fun to do NASCAR breakdowns. So, this is going to be the first one. This is the Bristol finish in the Xfinity Series. AJ Allmendinger ended up winning the race. It was one of the craziest finishes we've had all year. If not the best, I think it personally is the best uh, in the NASCAR world in 2021. I think it's the best race of the year, the best finish of the year, rather. So let's go ahead and just jump right into this. So we have Austin Cendrick leading the field to the green, AJ Allmendinger right beside him, and then... Justin Allgaier behind Austin Sindrick. Two laps to go. It's overtime. We have Riley Herbst in the 98 as well back there. He's going to play a factor. We jump to the next corner, and A.J. Allmendinger somehow makes that stick. I can't believe he had enough rubber right there. He bangs the 22. The 22 says, I'm going to remember that for later in the race. A.J. Allmendinger sideways. Here comes the 7. The 7 gets into the 22. And then Allgaier comes, takes back the lead. The 98 and the 7 are Rubens racing back there in the back. Meanwhile, we're on the final lap, coming to the checkered flag. These are the last two corners. Up front, A.J. Allmendinger has a sizable lead, overdrives it, and the 22 says, yeah, here's where I'm going to remember it. I'm going to drive right in the side of you. Okay, they both spin to the finish, and A.J. Allmendinger wins. Oh, Oh, and some big hits for the 16. He ends up winning the race. Shades of Terry Labonte and Dale Earnhardt. Here's another look at it. So right here, A.J. Allmendinger sideways. He's in the middle. Justin Allgaier is on the inside. He is in the preferred position right now. The 22 is up high. The 7 drives it in, hits the 22, opens up the door for the 16. The 16 drives underneath him. And at this point, it's really a race between the 16 and the 22 because the 98 and the 7 are banging doors. So Austin Centric, he does a really smart move here. He drives it in deep, but he breaks so that he can jump on the inside because he sees that Almondinger is driving it in too deep. So he comes up, but he doors him in the wrong position, turning himself and Almondinger, and the rest is history. Some hard hits for A.J. Almondinger. He wasn't as happy as I expected him to be. Apparently, he took what happened a bit too seriously and was none too happy with Austin Cindric, so hopefully they can work that altercation out. Anyway, this is the breakdown of the Bristol race. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This is Rhino Racing 4, signing off.